Here is an application of derivatives where we are linking position, velocity and acceleration and we will try to understand when is an object slowing down or speeding up. Position of an object is defined by s of t equals to t cube minus 12t square plus 36t where t is measured in seconds and s in meters. When is the object speeding up? And when is the object slowing down? So these are the questions to be answered. Now, the object actually speeds up if both velocity and acceleration are positive or both of them are negative. That is what we should understand. So speeding up normally means... See, we are checking displacement, velocity and acceleration and they are all vectors. So negative and positive before them makes huge difference. If we say speeding up, then if both are negative and both are positive, then actually in net we get speeding up results. So we say speeding up when both acceleration is greater than zero and velocity is also greater than zero. Both of them are greater than zero. That means both are positive or the other condition is when both are negative. That means, imagine traveling south and south is considered to be a negative direction. So every velocity magnitude wise increasing will be like more negative and acceleration ne increasing means more negative, right? So either they are both more negative or both are positive, right? Then we are speeding up. So that is the condition for speeding up. And so you get it, slowing down will be what? when one is positive but the other is negative, right? So that is slowing down, okay? That means going north at higher velocity, higher and higher, right? That means kind of speeding, but applying brakes is slowing down, right? While moving north. So that is how you should see it. So we are given a position vector. We need to find its first and second derivative to know what velocity and accelerations are. And then we can work out in during which duration the object is speeding up and during which duration the object is slowing down, okay? So let's restrict our domain for time being. We could restrict, restrict it to, let's say, 10 or 20, something like that. But at present, it is an open question, so we'll work for open domain. So we have S of t, the position, given as t cube minus 12 t square plus 36t. Now let's find what velocity is. So velocity is derivation of first derivative of position. So that we get as 3t square minus 24t plus 36. Now this can be factored, right? And we can write this as 3 times. So we get what? t square minus 8t plus 12 and this can be still factored and we can write this as we get 12 as 6 times 2 so 6 times 2 give us 12 so we get t minus 6 and t minus 2 so that is the expression for velocity and now let's find what is acceleration now acceleration is derivative of velocity or second derivative of so we'll write second derivative of displacement this time, okay? And let's find second derivative means derivative of this one, which is 6t minus 24, right? Now, that is the second derivative, and we can factor this also and write this as 6 is common. So we get t minus 4. So acceleration is 6 times t minus 4. Now we need to figure out when is the object speeding, right? So to find that, we have to find intervals when both acceleration and velocity are either positive or both are negative. So what we will do is that we will see the behavior of velocity and acceleration around their zeros, right? So let's consider velocity first. So in velocity, what we notice is that there are zeros at t equals to 2 and t equals to 6. 
So at 2, let us say we have a 0. That means it could be a turning point when the velocity is 0. And at 6, right? This we are talking about velocity over time. Now the expression for velocity is 3 times t minus 6 times t minus 2. So let's have a test number. So of course our domain is from 0 onwards. So we are going from 0 onwards. So after that let's take a test point. So we have a test point here. Let's say test point is 1 here and in between 2 and 6 let's take 4 as a test point and after 6 let's take 8 as our test point. Okay. So now if I substitute 1 here, I get 1 minus 6, which is negative, and 1 minus 2, which is also negative, correct? And therefore, in this duration, we get positive, correct? That means velocity is positive in the interval 0 to 2. How about 2 to 6 interval? So we have taken a test point 4. 4 minus 6 is negative and 4 minus 2 is positive. So when you multiply negative and positive, you get positive negative result, right? So you get negative result here. And if time is more than 6, test point 8, 8 minus 6 is plus 2, and 8 minus 2 is plus 6. Both are positive. So this is positive. Therefore, we see that the velocity is positive in the interval 0 to 2 and after 6. Now let's see how about uh, acceleration? So we'll make 1 for acceleration and study its behavior. So for acceleration A, we have a 0 at 4. That means acceleration is either positive or negative on the sides of 4. We'll start from 0 and we can go forever. Now test point before 4, let's take this as 2 and after 4, let's take it as 6. Now, that is the expression for acceleration. So if I write 2 here, I get 2 minus 4 as a negative number. So here we get negative. And if I write 6 here, I get a positive number for acceleration. So acceleration is positive after 4. Do you see that? So acceleration is positive after 4. But before 4, it is negative. Now, if we combine these two and make another table so that we can find where is it speeding up and where is it slowing down. So it's kind of like this. So let me just combine these two. Or what I can do is I can put this underneath velocity. That's one thing I can do. That's simpler. So I'll do that. So I'll make this. Let me push this paper a bit here. And I'll make this underneath. So it becomes more better to visualize. So AT. So what we got for acceleration is, I'm just copying it here. So we got here, we'll just take a value here for 4. And we tested with our, our results, we are that it's negative here and positive here, correct? So let me draw a line at 4 also. That is because of the acceleration. Now what do you notice? So we have these intervals. To consider. So we have intervals where we are considering velocity and acceleration together. Now if we consider them together, what do we notice? That in the interval 0 to 2, they have opposite signs, right? Velocity is positive, but acceleration is negative, right? So, or we can make a table here, right? Let's make a table here. So we have intervals We'll see it both ways. So it is positive and negative. That means their product is going to be negative. So it's negative here. This is we are talking about Vt times At. Okay. So they are negative now. But in this interval, that means from 2 to 4, we notice that velocity is negative, but acceleration is also negative. So their product will be positive. Right. And here, it is positive for acceleration, but negative for velocity. So it will be negative here. And after 6, both are positive. So the result will be positive. Do you understand? So what we got here is kind of like this. We have different intervals. So the interval is from 0 to 2. And then, so let me draw a line here. And then it is from 
2 to 4 and then from 4 to 6 and after 6 let's say 6 to infinity and from this table we'll summarize we have velocity which is positive from 0 to 2 so we'll write in a different ink let's say this from 2 to 4 rather from 2 to 6 it is negative so it's negative and negative and after 6 it is positive right and for acceleration what we get is before 4 it is negative and after 4 it is positive so it is negative here and positive here correct so when you multiply both or when you check their signs what do you get so we get that their signs are same from 2 to 4 so that becomes positive and their signs are same after 6 so that becomes positive so for speeding up we get our result that is they are speeding up during the duration 2 to 4 and after 6 do you see that that is the result so they are speeding up when the duration is from 2 to 2 to 4 or after 6 I mean 6 to infinity correct that is the duration when they are speeding up and they are slowing down in the interval 0 to 2 and 4 to 6 correct so we can write down our answer here so speeding up is from 2 to 4 and from 6 to infinity and slowing down is from 0 to 2 and 4 to 6 okay so these are our answers and I hope you understand the analysis correct so these are our answers answer for speeding up and this is for slowing down yeah so I have limited space to work with I always want to work with this half sheet and I don't really want to go over next page so I hope you understand in short what it did was we had the position vector in short what we did was we have our position equation s of t equals to t cube minus 12 t square plus 36 t we found its derivative to get the velocity and then its derivative to get acceleration and now we wrote it in factored form so that we could understand during which intervals they are positive or negative speeding up means both acceleration and velocity are positive or both are negative right that means you're increasing both while going north or you're increasing both while going south so they are speeding up now we found we made a table and found that in the interval 0 to 2 both have opposite signs and therefore they are slowing down and from 2 to 4 both are negative so they have same signs so when they have same sign they speed up 4 to 6 velocity is negative but acceleration is positive so they are slowing down and after 6 seconds both are positive and we say both are positive and therefore the object is speeding up so that is how we can summarize and understand this kind of example I hope it's beneficial to you thank you and all the best